Hi everyone, this is Athene, and this is a pre-recording of uh, me killing Diablo. Um, since I've been DDoSed yesterday when I was trying to do the record myself, I'm actually doing it now uh, yeah, offline, and uh, I'm basically commentating it while I'm live streaming. That way I can get some feedback, answer some questions, see what the chat is saying, uh, replying to questions and all that stuff. The thing is though, like a lot of people don't realize it, but the reason why I'm doing all this, the reason why I'm doing those records, killing bosses, uh, Diablo world first, blue gear world first, naked, fastest kill world first level 60, all those crazy records. The reason why I'm doing it is because I'm doing it for them kids. Um, I basically, a lot, it allows me to get a lot of viewers to raise awareness around important issues like Sopa, Pipa or uh, yeah, like crises, hung whether it's hunger crisis or whatever. Um, it was East Africa, this one is for West Africa. I'm also doing a charity event together with the gaming community because I think that like if the gaming community is steered towards the way where we do gaming for good, we can actually end poverty within our generation. Uh, a lot of people uh, and mainly media talks always a lot of shit about gamers, but I think gamers do care and gamers can make a huge difference when it comes to uh, making a difference in the world. So yeah, I'm uh, doing here a live stream and I'm reading the chat. I'm also going to be answering some questions. I don't know what you guys think about those kind of commentary videos. Uh, you can put in the comments what you guys think about it. I will explain you guys a little bit about this kill. Um, you can see there's some lag. I got some lag in the kill because uh, yeah, I'm live streaming and there's some, yeah, some delays. But uh, um, basically I'm using the uh, mark ability. I'm using preparation, uh, vault and uh, smoke screen with uh, like the arrow that, that pierces in the 70 extra damage with uh, like the, um, what is that, that lost ability with the bombs, I don't know what it's called exactly. And uh, yeah, the vault is the one that doesn't cost discipline but has a 15 second cooldown. And uh, yeah, the uh, preparation is with the discipline region, mark of the, like the mark is, for, it's not mark of the wall, but the mark is uh, with the hatred region. And then you have smoke screen, increased duration, 70% piercing, and then you get the five bomb thingy. And then my passives are uh, archery, are the one when I'm in distance, I do 20% more damage. And also uh, the one where I have 100% hatred, I have 15% uh, more speed. The reason why I do that, the 15% more speed, is because I don't have speed boots. And since uh, I'm naked, I only have 4.7k HP. And uh, yeah, anything kills me, anything. Um, also keep in mind what's really annoying about this kill, uh, about trying to kill Diablo naked. The biggest issue and uh, the most RNG in this fight is when Diablo sometimes hit it, hit you, even when you have smoke screen on, he can apply the dot. It happens sometimes, but since the fight takes up, up to 40 minutes, it happens quite regularly. That's why uh, I always keep distance and I play even more defensive than I should. Uh, if, I, uh, if that bug wouldn't apply, because it's a bug, uh, I could kill Diablo even faster. Um, so yeah, this is basically uh, a kill where I'm trying to kill him naked and I will succeed. I only have 15k DPS, I'm using a two-hander and, and a quiver. The reason why I'm using a quiver is because if I would end up using two one-handers, uh, it would be more beneficial. That's why I'm using a two-hander and a quiver. Uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's more than fair. And um, yeah, I think like a lot of people love to whine and a lot of people love to hate and say that I don't have skill. I do think that uh, this is probably one of the more skill-based fights I have done so far. Um, I don't think you can kill all bosses naked. Uh, Gum, for example, like all bosses with an enraged timer wouldn't, uh, yeah, wouldn't be possible. Although I think that... Um, even though it's, it's, it requires quite some skill to kill Diablo naked, um, I do think that it's not, it's not, uh, it, it's not, not anything crazy. So I'm not bragging about it. I do too think that it's, ha that it's harder than killing uh, Diablo on hardcore with good gear. Uh, if, if you have really good gear, uh, the Diablo fight is really easy. But yeah, of course, when you're playing like this, any simple mistake can yeah can cost you. So 
Yeah, let me check here if there's any people that are talking, asking questions. Um, the reason why I'm doing putting so much time and effort in Diablo is because I really like the game. Uh, PvP is coming out soon, and uh, for the people that don't know how PvP is going to work, um, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm going to quickly talk about here about the fight here. Uh, the it's really hard to um, like I'm killing here my my clone, although it's it's really hard, takes a long time. Um, but yeah, I end up being able to kill him, dodging everything like a boss. <laughs> Either way, um, this is mainly a kite game and it's the hardest phase. Uh, Diablo 3 Inferno, naked, the second phase is really, really hard. Um, either way, what I wanted to say is that the reason why I'm playing so much time in, in Diablo is because what I like a lot about Diablo is the real money auction house. Uh, although I think they can do it better, uh, aside from that, um, I do think that being able to change virtual goods in real money will, uh, yeah, will turn a lot of gamers into professional gamers. I know a lot of people that are already making a living out of it. And uh, yeah, since PvP is coming out and uh, PvP is going to be awesome, uh, I think a lot more people will be able to tune in. And uh, yeah, since I'm doing so much charity stuff, uh, it allows people to donate their uh, in-game goods and save kids in Africa. For the people that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm, I've already raised $1 million. Well, we, with the community, we have raised together $1 million. And uh, I'm also going to do a fund for West Africa. And I'm going to go to Mali at the end of uh, August. Mali or some, somewhere in West Africa to uh, live stream and show you guys where donations are going live and people can donate through Diablo by giving gold. Uh, I'm trying to sell it. Uh, it's not so easy to sell the gold, but I'm trying to do my best. Um, so yeah, that's, that's why I'm doing all this. Also, uh, the PvP is going to be awesome for the people that don't know what PvP is going to be about. Uh, it's going to be a frag system. So uh, it's going to be like deathmatch, most kills in 10 minutes. It's going to be teams with four players. You can either solo queue or you can queue with four people with a pre-made, just like League of Legends a little bit. And uh, yeah, they said that they want to legitimize Diablo 3 PvP. Uh, for the people that don't know, that's actually one of the biggest guys at Diablo that said that. They want, basically means that they're not going to just uh, yeah, screw around, they want to take it serious. And I think that's really awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. I really hope they're going to implement uh, Diablo, um, yeah, like uh, hardcore uh, PvP. Just for the people wondering, like I got quite a lot of other ideas. I think one, one, one thing they could do, and I think that would be not a bad idea, is to reduce the damage and the uh, effective health pool in PvP um, by either 75% uh, or 50% and add a basis amount of uh, HP and DPS to all classes. Uh, so when you enter arena, you do a minimum amount of damage and uh, you have a minimum amount of HP uh, added on what you would do in PvE. The reason why I like that idea is because it would uh, reduce the gear gap a lot um, and it would also allow you to, uh, yeah, to by, by reducing the gear gap, you can increase the skill cap but not only that, uh, you make it so it's a lot easier uh, balanceable. And also like, yeah, doing things in hardcore, that would be awesome. I think there should be a reward system as well uh, in PvP. Uh, maybe I think a prize pool would be really awesome. Uh, maybe a percentage of, of, the, of, the, of the revenue of their real money auction house. Uh, just like having the percentage and, 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 and give it out to the players would actually be something really cool. What they also could do is um, uh, maybe, yeah, like, like have drops or whatever. I don't know how that would work. But the thing is, like, just rewards to, to have a bottom line, a ladder system, uh, a ranking system, um, so people can actually show off their ratings and stuff. Aside from that, I think that, like, uh, Diablo 3 is a really cool game. I've played that game for so long. And uh, I know that they, uh, yeah, they, they messed up with Diablo 3 without endgame. Um, I think that's a big, a big mess up. But they, they didn't. They, they thought it would take much longer to kill Inferno. But yeah, as you guys can see, I'm killing Diablo here naked. Uh, I, I've already said and I've already uh, given my, uh, <laughs> like uh, my help. I'd love to help out uh, in the testing team of Blizzard uh, for Diablo. I think I could do a lot. But of course, um, yeah, like there is my uh, solicitation or whatever. I'm checking here, like uh, how. Um, 
I'm checking here what people are saying and uh, answering some questions here but yeah there's there's always a lot of people so yeah people I'm live streaming people that want to ask answer uh, ask any questions make sure to put it and uh, yeah for the people wondering also what I want to say is that even though that uh, a lot of people a lot of haters say that I suck at games uh, I always manage to break records whether it's in World of Warcraft uh, Diablo Mist of Pandaria well I don't know if it's gonna be Mist of Pandaria but just in general um, poker uh, civilization um, Age of Mythology whatever any game like I always end up managing to break records and the reason why I, I I'm able to do so it's not because I'm a brilliant or a genius but that's because my uh, dedication is really hardcore because uh, in my mind uh, I'm not just playing the game and trying to be the best and show off my uh, EP but I'm actually doing it to raise awareness around important issues and because of that um, I'm very very motivated uh, also I want to tell you guys this is uh, this is actually on the live stream I'm live streaming recording this uh, replay and um, also uh, talking on top of it so I don't know how laggy it's gonna be uh, I've seen the the video already uh, shake quite a few times so I don't know what's going on but uh, yeah let's see how that's gonna work out there's some lag I hope it's not gonna crash because it crashed earlier already um, so yeah, there's some people that are asking um, when PvP is going to come out. PvP is going to come out after patch 1.0.4, which is going to introduce legendaries. Uh, like, it's not going to introduce it, legendaries, it's going to buff legendaries a lot. Um, and what's very important for people to know is that, um, like, f what, what's very important for people to know is that, um, yeah, when legendaries get buffed, um, it's it's going to change the the itemization of players and um, yeah like this is pre-recorded by the way for the people wondering I'm just uh, talking over it and uh, yeah I've been pre-recording this footage because um, because I get DDoS and uh, yeah I'm just doing this I'm just commentating my game that I played earlier um, I don't know if maybe I should do something where um, maybe I should I don't know if it's possible though but it would be cool to to maybe play a game where um, where I actually like like a tournament where people try and kill Diablo naked with me or something and the winner gets a lot of stuff maybe I should do something I do, although I don't know if anyone would be able to to do this but maybe I'll try that if there is cool stuff that we can do, I'd love to do it. Some people have been asking, like, is there going to be more poker tutorials? Um, I don't know. Not a lot of people care so much about poker. Um, but maybe. If people like it, I don't mind doing it. I've been selling uh, most of my gear, by the way. Uh, the problem is, though, that since all the revenue goes to charity I don't just wanna I just don't wanna rush selling stuff I wanna make sure that if I sell stuff I get a good price I've already sold my amulet for 300 million um, and I'll be selling some more items uh, that I have uh, I've put quite a lot of stuff on the real money auction house and I'm really surprised but it didn't sell yet I do think that I might have to wait uh, until the PvP patch before being able to get some really good prices because some of my items are really unique to say the least and uh, since Diablo's interest right now is pretty on a down people uh, the player base is a lot smaller not a lot of people are interested or motivated to get upgrades so I might have to wait until PvP in order to get the best price um what do I think is the best class? Uh, I think Demon Hunter in PvP is going to be uh, rinsing everything. Although I've been seeing the maps uh, in PvP, there is actually uh, on, uh, on, on what Diablo fans you can actually check. Maybe I'll also put the links in the description 
of the, the maps of Diablo um, uh, 3, you see there is certain maps that are very, very uh, range friendly and there is uh, maps that are very, very um, uh, melee friendly. So we get to see, although I think that it's mainly going to be, uh, I think one of the best comps is going to be three demon hunters uh, and a barbarian or two demon hunters, barbarian and a monk. I don't know though. We have to see, um, but I think like yeah, that's that's something that's going to be yeah, barbarian and three demon hunters. I think so. Yeah. Um, also, for the people wondering, I think that I don't have so much information about PvP except from for what I read. Uh, but I really do like the frag system. There, you see, I almost died there because I, when I was doing it, I was so annoyed. I almost died because it was lag spike or something. I don't know what it was, but I still managed to survive, of course. I don't think CC is going to be that crazy, by the way, uh, for the people thinking. Um, Unless they do the thing that I said, the change, where where they reduce the HP and the, the DPS from all classes and give a base HP and strength to all classes, uh, I think CC will be almost completely useless because we will be one-shotting everything. Uh, in my full DPS gear, my Impale does more than a million damage. So I can kill anything with two impales, anything. So yeah. They will have to see what they will do with that. Because CC... CC is good when... Uh, when you have long fights. I will organize tournaments for PvP in Diablo. I don't know how it's going to be possible if it's all, but I think you'll be able to to arrange games against your friends. I must think it's possible. So I certainly will organize some uh, some tournaments for the lols. I'm going to go to Dreamhack Winter normally and I'm also going to go to um, to Gamescom. This is Inferno by the way, killing Diablo naked in Inferno. I pre-recorded it because I got DDoS yesterday and I cannot, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do it again because it's really stressful and it takes a lot of energy to do it. Checking in the chat. I'll be playing Mr. Fandaria for sure. Um, as you guys, what, what do you guys, by the way, think like of me focusing on s certain games? Mainly, like I, I, I focus a lot on on Diablo, on Mr. Pan, uh, on World of Warcraft. I've also focused on League of Legends because it was really immensely successful. Uh, although I haven't put a lot of content on it. But yeah, it's, for me, what I like to do is I like to get into really involved in a game and break records and do crazy stuff rather than hopping from one game to another. 
um, because that's more my trademark to break records. Uh, I need to keep a uh, reputation of, of best gamer in the world, although I know it's, uh, it's, uh, it's just a gimmick. I have uh, sold so far, uh, I think, 250 million gold, and I have more than a billion. But that's because I'm selling my gear. That's why I have so much gold. And um, I might have to wait uh, until. Yeah, I might have to wait until uh, until PVP, you know, before gold sells easily. So we'll see. Yeah, I don't know what you guys think about like those kind of gaming commentaries. Um, I'm streaming and getting questions from the live stream, and I'm just checking out, showing people like, uh, yeah, the kill. I challenge actually people to do the same, to kill Diablo uh, naked. I actually challenge people to do the same. And if you can do it, maybe I'll reward you. At this point, by the way, you cannot make it harder, because I know people say make it harder. Uh, the thing is that the hardest part is the second uh, phase. Once you do the second phase, the first phase and the third phase are really easy. Uh, there's not a lot of RNG going on. You can always keep very big distance and never really get in trouble. Um, and the second phase, once you cannot kill your clone, and you have to kite him, you might as well have uh, 5k DPS or, or 5 DPS. Uh, the only difference is it will just be much longer and uh, yeah, the longer the fight, the more focus of course, but uh, yeah, the more boring it is, so yeah. I don't know how I can make it even harder, to be honest. Um, Yeah, lower DPS will just make it longer, not more difficult. There won't be PvP gear in Diablo 3, uh, as far as I know. One million gold sells for 2.5 euros, 100 million for 250 euros, but Blizzard takes 30%, so it's around 180. And I'm about to kill Diablo here, as you guys can see. I'll show you guys my abilities here. See, I'm completely naked. Um, and uh, yeah, using weapon and socket, 15k DPS. This is uh, it's pretty crazy. These are my abilities, as you can see. And um, yeah, cluster arrow with cluster bombs, yeah. World first. Diablo, goodbye. He's going to die together with all them jelly haters. Jelly haters are hard. Die together with all them jelly haters. So yeah, it lagged a little bit. 
I hope you guys uh, still enjoyed the video. If you guys like such commentaries, uh, put it in the comments. And uh, yeah, if you manage to kill Diablo naked, make sure to uh, let me know. I'd love to see that because it's not easy. There you go, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in games. They should. He should drop legendaries if you kill him naked, to be honest. But yeah. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Keep on owning and see you guys live on the team live. Uh, uh, yeah.